How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Ray Street Life Videos. I'm back at it again with another motherfucking Oh, yeah. I'm getting ready to uh, get started on the gauge cluster swap on the EK. I got an 05 Honda Civic Hybrid cluster. I got the wiring harness right here. This, the guy sold it to me with the cluster. That's what it was, they just cut it off the, the whatever car it was in and he left all the wire and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna start prepping all the wires. I got a couple of pictures. So I downloaded some pictures online where what basically the pin the, the pin diagram. This is for the EK, and this one's for the hybrid. I'm gonna just try to match them up, and uh, yeah, just go from there. Um, I'm gonna try to match them up. Now, if I can't, I've been reading a lot of things where people say the temperature gauge doesn't work, or the fuel. I think it was. I'm not sure. I think it was the temperature one. If that, if I can't get that to work. I buy the EK uh, cluster gauge pod, you know, the one that comes with two holes for gauges, and then I'm just gonna order the attempt gauge and maybe just throw another another one in there, volt or oil pressure. I'm getting all the wires stripped and prepped. Just like that. There's a lot of So I got pretty much all the wires cut and stripped, ready to go. I separated them just so I, I felt like I could be more organized. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape. I'm gonna tape the blue one up and I'm gonna tape this one up and then I'm gonna tape them together, but I'm gonna keep the ends separate. And then that way, I think it'll be making it much easier to understand because it looks like a huge mess right now, but I'm gonna get it organized. All right, so I got the wires looking really nice. I left me a good amount of slack over here. So when I go to the next stage in the car, it'll be easier to work with. This tape, this Gorilla tape, this stuff is strong. How you guys doing? This, I know, looks like a freaking mess from hell. I depend. One of the plugs. I got all the uh, the connectors here. I didn't cut them because this doesn't work. I want to be able to put it back. <laughs> but I'm about to start uh, matching up the colors. Um, I looked up a couple diagrams online. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so just showing a little progress here. So basically what I'm doing is, like I said, I didn't want to cut none of the original stuff from my car, just in case I want to, if this doesn't work, I want to be able to put everything back. I depinned everything. I took a pictures before I depinned it. And now I know people don't like this and want to solder and stuff like that. What, I'm doing this just so it's like if it doesn't work I can easily just take it all apart and run my old cluster like I take the pin and I run the wire through that little hole and then I wrap it around it and I tape it basically um, I'm using a diagram that I got offline I don't know if you can see that 
Um, I screenshotted it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna take a screenshot of it and post it on the video so you can see what I'm I'm using. And then if you ever want to do something like this, you can do it too. So yeah, basically I'm just matching these colors up with this chart right here. There's gonna be a lot of wires that are not gonna be used. I'm just gonna cut them and then just tape them all up and yeah, it's gonna look neat. Okay, so <laughs> that was nerve wracking. I don't even know why. I guess when you're dealing with wires, it gets a little crazy. <laughs> Stop sounding like that. Ah. Anyways, so um, all right, I got everything connected. Oh my god, bro! I hope this works. I hope this works. I match. I colored all up. Uh, blah blah. Man, I got. I I I got a fat tongue, boy. I color matched all the wires, just like I did in the di in the ground. Da da da. Man, in the diagram. Oh, in the diagram. Uh, I don't know how clean that looks to you guys, but from earlier, this looks way cleaner. <laughs> but I got it all plugged in. Oh my God! Cross your fingers, please, boy. I put a. I hooked the ground back up to the battery. So I didn't want shit catching on fire. Let's do this. Oh my god. This is so nerve wracking. Jeez. All right. Cross your fingers. Oh my god. It's on. It's on! <laughs> yes! Woo! It's it's working. I figured this wasn't gonna work. That's okay. The temp battery. I don't know. I gotta check that one out. Charge this. Is, but fuel, it's working. Fuel's working. I got a check engine light, which I knew that was gonna happen. All right, let's see the tack. Oh, yes. Yes. Dimmer, let's see. Oh, dimmer's working. What else we got? Uh, trip. God, I'm so excited it works. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right, now I gotta get everything back together. So this is the first shot at night. I am so excited, man. This thing looks so good. Oh my God, you don't even know. All right, here we go. So, a couple things about this swap that um, I haven't figured out 100%, but I have a solution for. The temperature gauge does not work. I did some research and it says you gotta solder the wires right to the board, which, uh, I tried, I looked up and it just got real technical. The tack and the speedometer works, fuel works. Uh, I, this also works. Information station, <laughs> I don't know. But this works too. Like while I'm driving, it tells me miles per gallon and uh my trip it has trip a and trip b the mileage 
And then uh, it has the dimmer where you could dim it just like that. Or you could turn it up. What I'm gonna do for the temperature is I'm gonna get the gauge pod, you know, the one that that goes for the the cluster for the EK. They sell them for like, I don't know, it's like 35, 30, 40 bucks, something like that. I already ordered it, it's on its way. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna release the video before I get it or after I get it, I'm not sure. Cause I wanted to show the whole, the whole setup completed. But I don't know, we'll see how long it takes for me to, if it takes a while for me to get it, then I'm just gonna release the video. I'm gonna have the temperature, one uh, gauge right here for the temperature. And the other gauge that's gonna go right there is gonna be for uh, oil pressure. So that'll that'll solve my uh, temp temp problem. But other than that, man, this thing is sexy, boy. Ooh, it is so sexy. You don't even under. I, am I even in an EK? Like what the heck? It looks so good. You don't even know, man. I, I love it. I don't even know if this camera does it justice. But it looks so freaking good.